And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our second part of our seasonal tournament practice with Tarek Draven. We split it up into four parts. We'll have four videos just like I normally do for y'all on YouTube. We're going to be getting 20 practice games in today with Tarek Draven. Our lineup's going to be this deck. We're going to have Poros Give It All. That's our plan tomorrow to have 20 practice games with Poros Give It All. And then also mid-range Frostbite, and we'll practice with that on Saturday. And then our seasonal tournament will be on Sunday, and that will be exciting. All right, so let's get back to it with um, curving out, having pump spells, and finishing the opponent off in uh, quick games. That's what our Tarek Draven's about. Let's play five more games on over in Ranked. According to Mobilitics, my, my player page that I haven't really looked at before, but it says my favorite champion is Aurelian Soul. That's weird. I'm really surprised that isn't Draven. Um, the deck lists are open. Your opponent does get to see the deck list. Okay, well, we need some kind of pump spell with Taric. Might is like the best one, but I did Mulligan Might just basically because we didn't have like any units earlier. But now, now with the, you know, draw, you know, just having all units, I would, yeah, I really wish I would have kept the might. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. So we'll have the Solari Soldier be able to keep them from attacking for a turn. Devotion to battle. All right, looks like we get a transfusion. Not the best with Taric, but triple Taric means that we get Blessing of Targon. Blessing of Targon's pretty good. I bring clarity. Fade and be gone. Yeah, I thought Mark of the Isles was was pretty likely, and so I didn't want to like transfusion or anything first, and and then they go with that Mark of the Isles. So wanted, you know, I didn't want to you know pump up the Solari Soldier and block with Solari Soldier because of that card. Okay, well, so we're at two. Unyielding. Gets me to five. No, I don't. I don't. I'm sure I've probably played a Tarek Zed deck, but I. I don't quite remember a Tarek Zed deck that I've played recently. Like no, nothing recently. They had a good hand. Turn two. They had you know, Rachnoid Horror, Mist Wraith, and then double Wraith Caller. Triple Wraith Caller? They just they just drew three Wraith Callers. That's a pretty sweet life. Sure. <clears throat> Yeah, the ladder seems to be all fearsome. I mean, it's just, it's three in a row, right? Like, we, our first three were not fearsome, and then the last three have all been fearsome. Try me. The mountain endures. Let's be a one. No mercy for heretics. So I do that with, like, you know, I can Pale Cascade, no, save the Solari Soldier. I just don't have like a, a great way to finish this game like I normally do. Wow. And they had double Mark of the Isles too. Triple Wraith Caller. Double Mark of the Isles to make my blocking floor. Wow.
say that went very well for them. <laughs> they just have the double stalking shadows. Wow, what an incredible hand. It really doesn't get any better yet. Double Doom Beast here. No, I do not need Star Shaping at all. I, w I would not play Star Shaping. I've, I've played this deck with Guiding Touch quite a bit, but I'm, I'm happy without it. So I want the second Might. Um, so I want the second Might. I don't know, I could see keeping that second Might. So we're going to have the attack token on turn four. Time for the main event. My plan is to have, you know, like Terra plus Might on this turn four. I don't know what their hand looks like. They discard a Mystic Shot. Another Mystic Shot right there. They just have a bunch of like Jinx, Don't worry. Augmented I'm Experimenter, here. Mystic Shots. The got me good. To protect all unyielding. I think the fear the fearsome deck definitely looks like the most popular deck right now. I'll be surprised to play against any lineups that don't have fearsome deck. Double vision. It's Draven time. Well, hey there, good looking. Hmm. Rules are made to be broken. Like buildings or people. You should try blinking sometime. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. <laughs> See, this was a good game. This was a good game for me. Um because the might was premature. I should have thrown down unit earlier. This is a good good, uh, good practice game because I would play this game completely different. Um, especially after seeing how this plays out like in the future. Good, good practice game. No mercy for heretics. It's on a mountain endures. Yeah, the spinning axe. Good practice game there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna lose this one, but I think that I I don't know maybe maybe would have a better chance to win if I you know, just switched up some stuff. Uh, we'll see my my if I draw a might, then I still have a chance. So that's why so I, maybe I should have kept that second might too. Time for the there's there's not any specific best deck to reach masters from from diamond. You can you can play. Um, doing it. Yeah, well, it depends on the player. Everybody plays different decks differently and, and better or worse, so um, depends on on whatever you are confident in piloting. All right, stop deck of might, please. This precious pet just doesn't matter. All right, Quan, tuck deck might. <laughs> Captain Farron. So, Elixir of Wrath is the obvious card to copy over, but I think that my best chance is that they don't know about the Elixir of Wrath. I have to do this first because I have to put lethal on them so they actually do stuff first. Now we're cooking. Hmm. 
Okay. Demacia. So it'll be interesting to play against. I'm not sure that we're actually favored here with how they can uh, go big and wide pretty quickly. This will be interesting to play. So we're going to have Grenadier into Draven. Let's mulligan these two. Well, I would rather have had those two cards than, than these two. Well, lucky for you, I don't have spells. <laughs> I mean, I have Whirling Death and Spinning Axe. Draven's gonna give me some spells, but... It's dangerous out there. Take this. Don't need Suppressor didn't do a whole lot. seems like a very odd block. And the 3-3 three, three is not blocking anything. Time for the money makers. So I gotta wanna like single combat and stuff, right? Something? Sharp sight? I hope they don't have single combat. I'm gonna get blown out if they have single combat. Or concerned strike. You hoping they'll die of boredom? So this puts them to eight. I can do a little bit more damage to them though if I Yeah, we'll discard this precious pet. We don't really need that precious pet that much. Now we're cooking. Because I'll put them down to three, right? So, like, basically that... So, yeah. So, like, discarding that Precious Pet does five damage if this works. <clears throat> because the two Spinning Axes now level up Draven. And now the new Draven has over... Leveled up Draven has Overwhelm. That was pretty big that they did not have uh, single combat. So they're at three, and we have two Legion Grenadiers. And we got Overwhelmed Draven with all this pump. And then, yeah, turn eight, we got Captain Farron coming down. So I like our chances. We're done lucky, y'all. Six, seven, seven. I think we'll probably draw something that costs four or less that we can play. Oh wait, why was I thinking we were drawing something? I don't know, we were doing one damage to them. It's not Avaros and Sentry. Right yeah, that's fine. Uh, let's go. I 
Okay. So that the game was that single combat, right? If they would have single combated whenever we had Whirling Death, we would have lost. They didn't have it, we won. Okay, the Targon deck with all the blockers and then all the um, Celestials and things like that. I do not like this deck. I do not like this matchup. I don't like don't like playing against this deck. This is definitely a deck that's on my high priority list of ones to most likely ban. Yeah, I do not like this deck. Devotion to battle. The guilty will bear. All right, hoping for a two mana unit. Thank you. My faith protects me. <laughs> Burn away, doubt. Like this and Anivia Control. Out of all out of all the decks that we played today, this and Anivia Control are like the decks that I'd have the least um, confidence in defeating. We chart our path by the stars. So a mist. What are they playing from? So if they're playing Shadow Isles. It's probably unspeakable horror. Could be vengeance though. Who gets tossed? All right. So I could go might. But I can also draw two with like Pill Cascade could be a draw two. Ask in her radiant blessing. If I go Pill Cascade. I should probably be doing might though. With them having these little blockers. Unyielding. Up top. So there's just take twenty. Believe or burn. Not gonna take twenty. You Boo. cannot sway me. So they probably have the unspeakable horror to kill the Kato. Yeah, they could have killed Tarek and then kill Kato instead. People just don't respect Tarek. That was Vile Feast? Why don't you play Vile Feast? You can play unspeakable horror. Love the Captain Farron draw. Daylight star will rule the skies. Hate the Golden Sisters. Descend upon them. Yeah, yeah, Poros give it all as a legit tourney deck. We're at four. It's not gonna be easy to level that up. I'd have to I'd have to play all three of my spells to level it up before attacking and you know I'd just go five, six, seven. Let's see, so then this is gonna be four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, fourteen, fifteen. It's time to shine. So they could stay alive by throwing away both of those. And then I'm playing Captain Farron. Pump spell. Darn. To preserve beauty and protect all life. Shark, never submit. Cause these can't take damage, so I don't think that so lifesteal doesn't heal them. So that's that's an important thing about doing this. Can't take damage. No further. <clears throat> so they can't have vengeance to kill anything. They can't make any blocks to stay alive. They, yeah, it's basically hush, right? Like they they already used one hush. Ah, star shaping. That will keep them alive for now. This is rather dull. Yeah, the yeah, the poor deck has Vi and Braum. Yeah. I like Vi a whole lot. It's Draven time. 
I think with with give it all buy is really necessary with give it all. I don't know, precious pet. Do I even play you? Probably not. Probably have probably discard precious pet for spinning axe. Raise your weapon, sun weapon. Uh, yeah, I have played. Yeah, I've played Darius Tarek decks for sure. This deck's Draven fits a lot better in here. Come, the heavens away. Um, yeah, this this deck's more of you know, like a, a curve out, pump spell, kill them right away. It just, it just fits better. Okay, so they got a whole bunch of celestial cards, but only eight mana. Oh, this is an eternal flame. I'm at five. I can't imagine they're playing Ruination, right? Like, if I lead with Decimate, and they... Well, I guess they can't even... They'd have to counter, like, the Decimate, and then also use Ruination. They can't do both of those, so... Yeah, we just start with this. Okay, cool. Six and three. Real good win, but not... Not a matchup I would count on winning. We just kind of won on the back of Tarek, and Tarek being so strong. And my opponent killed Kato instead of killing Tarek whenever they had Hush. Yeah, we could have Hush ourselves. I don't. I don't think that. I don't think we need Hush. I don't think this is a Hush deck. But yes, we could have Hush ourselves. All right, Captain. You're not bad, but. Let's look for some champions. I guess against the Go Hard deck, we should lead with the soldier, play the pet later. I know what lurks in the shadows. Yeah, I've been, I've been. Uh, we haven't. Re okay, so yeah, we, I have, I'm playing the seventh one drop instead of the seventh three drop, currently, and we haven't really done very much with the, um, with the seventh one drop. It, it hasn't really mattered. We haven't really drawn saboteur that much. I think I've only played it like one time, maybe two. So, it, but I, I'm happy. I'm ha I'm still happy with it. I think that's where I like to be. So Culling Strike has like three good targets in here in this deck. It has Elise, Twisted Fate, and Zap Sprayfin. Where we're at right now with this game, I like I just like getting I like getting rid of that Elise and um Yeah, you know, hoping for no Twisted Fate, basically. We definitely see the precious pet eating a Gohard. to 11. So Might does 4 damage, which put him down to 7. Hmm. So close. So close. I guess I needed like another Elixir of Wrath or Pale Cascade. Go on, then. If I kill you, I don't fart you, stupid. Fuse is lit. All right, let's see what else we got. No, that's the worst draw. <laughs> right now, Precious Pet is is the worst draw. It's the worst of the one drops. Go with the flow. So 
So they haven't they haven't shown any any kind of twisted fate. So we're just gonna use this on the spray fin, keep the spray fin from hitting me. And yeah, yeah. So tomorrow, brain. Uh, yeah, we're we're gonna be playing the this same time tomorrow. We're gonna be playing the give it all Poros deck. You know, if you want the Poros deck, we're gonna be playing that all tomorrow. Uh, Twenty games with that. I bring clarity. Now I wish I didn't use that might before to get that damage in. I'd rather have the might now. Dead in their tracks. Okay, they found Twisted Fate. Yeah, this Go Hard deck is so good. They're just doing so much stuff. I'm over here doing like nothing. Death doesn't scare me. That's why I didn't I didn't want to block the pool shark with Tarek because of Go Hard. So we're gonna have 12 mana next turn, so with if we are considering double decimate, we're gonna have two extra mana. So they need two more glimpse beyonds to level up Twisted Fate right now. I've whipped up something special. Yep, sure hope, no vengeance. Sure hope, no vengeance. That's tempting to play another Captain Farron, but then that Captain Farron playing another one plays around Vengeance, but it plays into Ruination, right? So it's, um, would you rather play around Vengeance or play around ru Ruination? What's more likely that they have? Okay, they, they burned a Ruination with Salvage. Well, that probably means they don't have another Ruination. And that's true. Even if they would just Ruination right here, that'd still be kind of good for me, because it's unlikely they'd put another 9 power into play. If they have, like, Salvage, and then a couple, like, and then three spells, they can get Gold Card. So three spells with two mana, so they have to have like some warning shots. So they need like salvage, warning shot, warning shot, and then a two mana spell like a file feast or unspeakable horror. Okay, they don't have it. There we go, GGs. Good job, Captain Theron. All right, back to a seven and three record. Cool. There are three wins in a row there. Okay, so this uh, video, you know, we started off with the, the two losses in a row to the discard aggro and the fearsome aggro. Um, the, you know, the fearsome deck just had a, a perfect hand. And the discard one, I, you know, that was a good practice one. I missequenced during that game. Um, not sure if I would have won, but I would definitely sequence differently as, as we learned from there. But then uh, picked up some good wins, you know, a close one against the elites. Um, and then, then we had the evoke where, where we actually beat the celestial invoke decks. That was, that was a really good sign. 
Um, that was a good win. And uh, we got got kind of fortunate there. Like, they they uh, used their hush way too early and on the wrong thing, right? Like, they they were more scared of my Kato and hushed my... my you know, I did have an, you know, an eight power overwhelm Kato, but that's what they were scared of. And they hushed that and then and then killed that where they could have done the same thing of hush Tarek and then kill Tarek. And since they didn't, then uh, we uh, showed them the power of Tarek by leveling it up and killing them with that. And then, yeah, another, a good win against Gohard. That was a, a close one where my opponent looked like they were stabilizing, but Captain Farron, um, that's why we play Captain Farron. You know, my opponent stabilizes and we need to get that extra damage in. Boom. Captain Farron says, I'll end this. All right, so far so good. Seven and three overall. Um, we're going to uh, come right back with five more games here with Tarek Draven. we got getting some good practice in for that seasonal tournament. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments. Um, love, love seeing those. And uh, there we go. That's part two. All right, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.